you have problems reaching stuff that are over your head or crouching down while seated. Sometimes I like to play seated in my nice VR chair when the game takes longer, right? It's not always nice to stand for hours and hours. But you will be always a bit smaller than intended by the developer and it will always be a problem to reach down and grab stuff. So there's not always a seated option like in VR chat that corrects your bended knees or even lifts you a bit up to the correct height or even a crouching button like in the forest. So some games lack these kind of options. There's an easy solution to this problem. For this purpose we can get a nice little tool called OVR Advanced Settings. And you can see here it's free. What it actually adds options to your Steam VR overlay. So we install it. It's downloading. This is the Steam VR environment. We press the left menu button and bring up the Steam overlay. And there you can see the add-on to Steam VR is already active. All right, so a good friend of mine told me a nice little hack that you could use to drag yourself in your play space by just a button press. To do this, we go to motion. This is the space drag option here and we just click right hand. This is called space drag. We need to remember that in a second. We go back and now to the bindings. So we need to bind the space drag that we just activated for the right hand to one button on our controller. And I think it's okay to map the press of the right joystick to this action. It's rarely used in games and still you always have the possibility to change that space drag button. So we will define the joystick here in this small box as joystick. The joystick options are click, touch and position. We use click and select right hand space drag. So I'm pressing the right joystick. Even it can be seen in the VR space and drag myself up and down by doing an upwards and a downwards motion with the controller. So this is incredibly cool. You can move your play space in a second. When you have to reach down, you take something with the left hand and go up it again. Or just to fix your player height, just a bit like that. And this would be standing height. Same thing goes for left and right. You can move freely in the play space. And don't worry about breaking something in the game. Most games recenter your body automatically. So even if your play space is way off, the game will be playable perfectly. There's a lot of other options. I encourage you to explore them. 
What's maybe important, you can go to the settings and activate auto start. So this will always start when Steam VR is being launched. And what's really cool about it, it really drags your character up and down in the game. So it looks like that in VR chat. I'm crouching, crouching, the character's crouching. This is really cool. So and I, if I drag me myself up, I will be flying. Look at that. <laughs> So in VR chat, I think this is especially nice just to take a nice position without the expressions. So this is, as you see, quite easy. Same thing here in Sam and Dan Floaty Flat Mates. You can see my shadow is crouching. My character is crouching on the floor. So. To correct that, we don't need to search for an option in the game, we just drag ourselves up and you can see we stand like a regular person. And also, you can use this tool to go to areas which you're not supposed to go. Let's go in the whale. See here, but still, it's possible. This is a barrier, as you can see, but we can drag ourselves in here and check out the whole shipwreck. Not too bad. Okay, I hope I could help you with this little fix and have fun. See you next time. Bye.